What is up, friends and book babes? Welcome back to the channel. I believe we're on day 10, which means we're almost done. I can't believe we've done this, guys. Round of applause for me for doing this. Not for you. What do you mean? <laughs> Thank you for tagging along, though. I've been getting a lot more subscribers from doing this, so that's nice. I hope you stick around. So for today's video, I wanted to do a list of books that I was anticipating for new releases in 2024. I wanted to do 24, you know, 24 books for 2024. But really, when I was looking up things that were coming out, only like 11 piqued my interest. And I probably just didn't see everything that I wanted to see so there's probably more coming but at least right now there's about 11 so let's just I wrote it down like like old school on paper so let's just get into it first I have expiration dates this comes out in March every time she meets someone new she gets a piece of paper with a length for how long the relationship will last and then finally she meets this person for the piece of paper she gets with this person it's actually blank so she assumes this is like her forever person or whatever um but there's a bunch of secrets also going around town and i just thought the concept was kind of cool where it's like what would your dating life be if you knew exactly when things ended and stuff like that like i just thought that concept was kind of cool so that's coming out in march the book of love by kelly link this comes out in february um and it's now this one's really intriguing i would say it's like thriller mystery but it's three dead teens kind of come back to life but not really it's kind of like they're ghosts i guess they're kind of like in the spiritual realm or something like that like they're not fully alive but they're not dead <laughs> because they're in this like purgatory almost like state they have the opportunity to come back to life if they do some certain magical tasks and then as they do these magical tasks it starts to be where they have to try and solve the mystery of their own deaths or they will be dead permanently instead of coming back so i was like I will eat this up right now. Hurry up, February. And then, of course, I have um, an Allie Hazelwood book on here, and that is Not in Love. Comes out in June, and it is kind of a forbidden rivals with benefits type of scenario. And it's only a forbidden romance because they work for like rival companies, and one of the companies is going to end up on top towards the end. I will pretty much read any and all Allie Hazelwood books just because they're cute and fluffy and cheesy and quick reads. So I will always read any and all things Allie Hazelwood comes out with. I know she's also coming out with, I think it's called Bride, which is like a werewolf romance. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that from her, but I will read it. I don't care. I'll go back into my Wattpad days for Allie and read a little werewolf romance. I'm cool with that. And then I have Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. That comes out in April. It's basically just what the title says. It's a summer fling that turns serious pretty much towards the end. I haven't read any Abby Jimenez books. I do own Yours Truly. I just haven't gotten around to reading it. But for some reason, Abby Jimenez, she just feels like she's going to be one of those authors for me where I will read any and everything she has to give to me you know so I will read it I have Faye Bound comes out in January as well it's the first and I think it's going to be a trilogy but I've been wanting to read more things by this author the people compare her stuff to like a court of thrones and roses and stuff like that and so I would like to read what she has Faye story Faye's have been gone in the story for a long time but then this girl ends up seeing them finding them or whatever so I'm just intrigued I didn't read too much about it I just wanted to be like oh she's an author I've been wanting to read let's put her on the list because I want to read it <laughs> of course I also have funny story by Emily Henry that comes out in April I will be honest Emily Henry has never really been that author for me like I know she has a very dedicated fan base and 
everyone pretty much loves her. I don't mind her, but I just don't have feral love for her that everyone else has. I feel like her literary fiction is great, but it's more literary fiction. And I think it gets marketed more as romance. A lot of people loved Happy Place. I was kind of just like, uh, <laughs> it's not bad it's not bad like none of her books are ever bad I just none of them make me lose my mind over them like the, it does the girlies I just don't get it I personally just don't get it okay so why is she on the list I don't know I've read every <laughs> I've still read every Emily Henry book because I keep giving her a chance I haven't read every single one because I know back in the day she had some books that aren't as popular so I've read pretty much all the ones she's known for and book lovers was probably my favorite i read beach read during a slump so i feel like i need to give it a reread before i give a full opinion on it um but i i have liked the books i've read from her i just don't lose my mind over it like the girlies do you know like it's just it's usually a solid four star read for me which is why i'm still interested in reading funny story especially with the concept i feel like this one will be one of those that could end up being a five star for me and it's because the concept is that the main character the girl main character is an ex-fiance and she ends up having to become roommates with her ex-fiance's ex <laughs> if that makes sense so the person so so she has to become roommate so her, oh my gosh basically she has an ex-fiance right and the reason she has an ex-fiance is because he leaves her for his best friend Petra I think was her name and Petra also had a boyfriend but she leaves him for the best friend and so and so the main character ends up being roommates with Petra's ex AKA she ends up being roommates with her ex fiance's with her ex's girlfriend's ex. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Do you, okay. If you, yeah. Uh, yes. What yes. is all right. No. Okay. 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 If, if you could have, if you could have everything that you ever wanted, <laughs> in the palm of your hand. <laughs> okay. This is very, I didn't realize how hard it would be to explain that, but it's actually very complicated in my brain at least. But the concept of that, I'm really digging. So that one might end up, I feel like that, I have a good feeling about that one, to be honest. But anyway, it better not come out in hardcover though. That's the thing that pissed me off about Happy Place. Then I have, ooh. I can't wait for this one. I have This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan that comes out in March. The second book to Before I Let Go, which was which is the first book I ever read from Kennedy Ryan. And I loved it so much. And so this one is about her friend in the story and is a forbidden romance. And so I'm just so I will lose my mind when that book comes out. I, I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> I will lose my mind. So I can't wait for that one. Beasts of War by Ayana Gray. The release date is to be determined, but it will come out in 2024. This is the last book in the Beasts of Prey trilogy. So I want to finally read the trilogy since the final one is coming out. And then, of course, I also have Magnolia Parks, the third book, which is Into the Dark. That comes out in February. I've only read the first Magnolia Parks and the first Daisy Hates. I haven't read the other two that are out, but I'm still intrigued by the story. I still want to know the tea. And apparently this last Magnolia is the last one for Magnolia and BJ, I guess. Personally, obviously I haven't read Long Way Home or whatever it's called, but I hate BJ. So she better not, she better not, unless it's like, a freaking 15 year time jump or something. I don't know if I can deal with it. But then again, I haven't read Long Way Home. So maybe I'll be rooting for it more. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm very, I just want to see how is she going to end this Magnolia Parks and BJ story? 
because like it's very interesting that you would choose a possible end game be with a guy like bj that did what he did um <laughs> so i'm just more so wanting to see what the heck she does with the story so yeah daydream by hannah grace this is a part of the icebreaker series that she's doing and this one's about henry if you watched my 24-hour readathon of popular books henry was all i cared about in that entire book <laughs> henry and i think jj i think that was his name i liked henry and i liked jj and that was it i will be reading daydream it comes out in june so i'm looking forward to that one and then lastly i have all this twisted glory by tahara mafi this comes out in february and this is i believe the final book in her this woven kingdom trilogy and so since it's the final book i can finally read it <laughs> i am very into trying to just read series that are complete it obviously doesn't always happen like with magnolia parks but those are my 11 anticipated reads for the 2024 year that's crazy 2024 that's kind of a mouthful to be honest but definitely tell me down below what y'all's anticipated reads are for the next year and thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe follow me on my socials and i will see you tomorrow bye Oh,